Alright guys, today I'm working on a new project, a scrap busting project. It's a cord keeper. Uh, basically what it's going to do is help me organize all of these cords that I have from USBs to headphones to computer cords. It's just going to make it make all of them nice and tidy and organized. So I'm following a tutorial that I found online and I'll put that link down in the description if you want to follow along. So basically I've got my template which you can print out online. Um, I've got my exterior fabric, some lining fabric, a little bit of fusible interfacing, um, and some velcro. So I'm just basically going to follow the steps on the tutorial and we'll see what happens. Let's get started. First I'm going to go ahead and cut out my template out of my exterior fabric, my lining fabric, and my interfacing. Alright, so I've got all three pieces cut out. Now I'm going to take my interfacing and my lining to the ironing board. <laughs> and attach the fusible interfacing to the back of my lining. Alrighty, now that my interfacing is attached, I'm going to pin my lining to my shell fabric and leave a small opening, probably about here, so that I can flip it inside out. Now I'm going to take it over to my machine and sew it at 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Okay, so now that I have all of my sides stitched down, I'm going to go ahead and open up the seam allowances, press it open. Here are my basting stitches here, so I'll remove my basting stitches and flip it inside out. Okay, so that's it. I've got the Velcro sewn on. Now let's test it out. Okay, I've got some USB cords here. Oops. Let's try it this way. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love it. Yeah, this is going to be so helpful for organizing all of my cords. I mean, this was such a quick and easy make, and it's such an awesome, awesome scrap buster. Um, as you can see, I wasn't really too precious about where I put the Velcro. I kind of just eyeballed it. Now that I know that it's such an easy make, I'll go ahead and make sure that I indicate on my template where my Velcro should go so I can get a better lineup when I stitch it down on my keeper. This is so awesome. I love this. Sweet. I've got plenty oops, of scraps that. <laughs> I have plenty of scraps that I could do this with. Oh, wonderful. Alright guys, so that is it for today's project. Um, if you liked this video, you know, go ahead and like, share, subscribe if you want to see more. And let me know in the comments what scrap busting projects are your favorites. Um, I really could use some inspiration because I have a lot of scraps and I'd like to use them up instead of throwing them away. 
All right, guys, I will see you again next time. Bye.